Hello, this is Vin McDonald here at Drone Second Institute. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take out an input shaft and the steps that is needed to be able to take it out and replace it. Alright, let's begin. You have your input shaft and you have your bearing, your bearing end plate. This keeps the bearing from going back and forth as long as the uh, as long as as well as seat clamps inside here that will hold it in. So let's take the plate off here. Alright, these bearings, these bearings should be at 35 to 45 pounds of pressure. These are not. These are uh, less. So let's take them out. Kind of now I got my bearing retainer plate screws off. I'm taking them off. As you can see, there's an oil, there's an oil weep hole hole here, and this helps it retain the oil and go back into here. You want to line this up with your hole when you're putting it back on. But I'll be further in the movie. <laughs> Alright, so now we got our clip here. Gotta uh, take this off before I get to my bearing and beat her out. First try. Alright, so now we're gonna jiggle on it. Pop it out of Have the gap. Put pressure on the end, which locks the bearing in place. Get here. See how it bends? That's what you're looking for. Then you proceed to put pressure to hit the tip. Alright, stop. Pull it out. Okay. Pressure down, lock, lock the bearing in place. Tap. another uh, pressure clip here and we're going ahead and do this old-fashioned way with the flathead. Well, flathead and another flathead. So, Thank you. 
barbarian. Oh, I put your washer or your uh, spacer back in the place. facing out always on this. So reinstall the bearing. about where my snap ring is going. I gotta put two more hits or so on there to be able to snap that snap ring in. And here we go. When you do this, you wanna wiggle it out. Make sure there's space between the bearing and the uh, back side of the transmission so we can get enough leverage to push it back in. snap ring is going to lie. Looks level with the uh, input shaft. Alright, so now I can put my snap ring on. Use the eyelets. Stick them onto the uh, end of the snap ring here. Gain you more distance. Gain more distance. Alright, what helps make me that is better is Put the bottom on. Put the bottom on, then the top. Alright, as you can see, our clip is, you know, a little worn from taking it in and out, but it would fit perfectly with a nice tight fit. with our oil hole, which is conveniently, conveniently to the O of the Korea. So, you're going to use the R or the O and line that up with our circle. These are supposed to be 40 to 45 spec. And this is Vinny McDonald. Vinny McDonald here, Judge Second Stick. And I showed you how to install and take apart and put Have a great day.